This tank is the P44 Pantera. This is an Italian tier 8 medium tank. It's also an autoloader. The map is Epic Normandy in the frontline game mode. Uh, this is a very good tank. I really love playing it. But what's important about this game is that the enemy is going to leave uh, flank B and go into A. And if you play frontly, you see they just disappeared. It happens often, and it will cause them to lose the game. So don't do it. So they think they're going to go to A because they want to go up here on this ridge and snipe and have an amazing game. But what happens is they're so outnumbered that we're going to cap really easily. Look at how many of them are gone. They're down five tanks. And it's going to, like I said, it will literally cost them the game. So first of all, we're going to cap B. Then you go and you cap E, which is right over here, of course. And the enemy won't be there to defend. And once you do that, the game's over. The, you don't need to cap all the caps. You just need one of the caps. You can do a minimum of two caps and you can win the game. Yeah, too bad for you, buddy. So you can see that they're, we're, they're now six under. If your team is smart, they're going to go to E. I'm going to guess that my team is not that smart. Because... You see over here, it says that's why you should never leave B. Half the team just left. And when my allies do it, I beg them not to leave, and they do it anyway. But what they don't realize is the game will end because of this. So we're going to advance. Oh, I'm sorry, I advanced improperly. Look at that. They've got three enemy tanks at E. And I'm advising my team to rush E. I'm probably going to end up going all by myself. It looks like the Somua SM is headed that way. The WZ is going to A. The low looks like he's headed towards A. I'm going to end up going myself. Whenever I have something like an Air Scout, I use it right away because it's often that you'll die and you didn't get a chance to use it. So it defeats the purpose of having it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cap E by myself. Obviously, when the game was new, I was able to cap by myself all the time. I usually park behind this wall. Um, but now it's a lot more difficult. My allies, if they had come with me, you can see we've got the T-34 that was over here. The WZ went that way. Um, where did these other guys go? They, they obviously left and they went somewhere else. And these guys are fighting, which is pretty cool. I mean, that it's up to this Udis to reset the cap. And if he doesn't understand the fundamentals of the game, he's not going to be able to do it. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is that I've got engineering, and clearly it says that I have at least, I don't know, was it three minutes to cap? My understanding is that you're supposed to do it in like a minute something with one person with engineering. I'm really not sure. I have to inquire about that. And I know it's engineering level five, because I'm at the maximum level. I got the AE phase one a month or, uh, immediately. Uh, you know, I got it early. So you can see now we're all capping. We're going to cap a little bit faster. There you go. And the enemy came, but they came too late. And I made it to um, captain. So let's fast forward, see what happens. I know there's going to be people who say farm damage, you know, this is the wrong strategy, etc. You know, I don't care about any of that. I'm going to go and I'm going to shoot it, number one. Um, I've already got all the prizes, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I really just play for fun. I'm not the type of person who says, well, if the enemy's here, we're going to trick the enemy. You know, I don't, I don't need that. There's times when I farm damage, but it's not as often as everyone else does it religiously.
Okay, so we're going to watch the whole game. We're going to see what happens. So I'm going in to see. I'm probably going to die because I'm going to get on the cap. My allies are not on the cap. So I'm, I'm going to get it going. And what's probably going to happen is I'm probably going to die and my allies are going to finish capping. It happens all the time. But everybody says, well, wait till for your allies. But if you don't get on the cap, your allies will never get on the cap. You know, that theory doesn't work. I play like a leader. The The proper thing to do is get on the cap. Obviously not with this tank, but the reason why I'm doing it with this tank is because I'm leveling up my tanks. If I wanted to, I could go out with a mutant or a defender. I own them, but then I won't ever level this up. So I need to get a little bit of EXP out of this. So you notice I'm going to head for that truck. It says 120. Why did the IS-3A get 120? And this doesn't even have engineering on it. That's a mistake. All of my tanks are supposed to have engineering. If if it doesn't, it's something that was configured wrong uh, when I configured uh, the combat reserves. Okay, so I made it up to major. The easy way to do it is capping. It's not that big of a deal. I'm up to 3,200 damage, 1,400 blocked, and 935 assistance. Going for repairs. Uh, somebody is attacking objective two. Obviously, I'm using the recon right away. Making my way north. Let's see how we're doing. I should get general. I think even if I don't do anything, I should get general. Because just by being in a flank that caps, I think you get a little bonus. So I made it to general. Uh, obviously, there's another guy, but I'm the true general. <laughs> and I didn't do it using premium tanks. You know, the Progetto has very low penetration. It's probably like 212, and the, the stock gun might be 185 or something like that. This one probably has a good gun on it. I'm pretty sure I've leveled it up. It might be 276. And Marcos and I, we played a couple games together. And this is not the only one where we did well. And you see he's saying farm. We've already got general. To me, I already see this as a game. I want to win the game. Having fun is most important, winning number two. But if I'm not happy with the game, I got no problem starting another game and getting into another game. So we're going to fast forward this a little bit, see what happens. Going for repairs. I usually have a strategy, and my strategy is usually to find a path to get behind the enemy or to sneak behind them and kill the SPG, you know, things like that. I don't think, oh, I'm going to get three kills or, or whatever. Or sometimes I do, I'm going to get in there. I'm just going to block as much damage as I can. And then I block like 8,000 damage. You know, those are things that I know I'm going to do before I play the game. Uh, as you can see, that's a great way to snipe through that, uh, through that row. So there's a sniping position on four. Unfortunately, I'm out of the game. Going back with the Pantera. Now you want to repeat the same tank so that your consumables, you don't get double charged uh, for, um, for directives and things like that. The best play to hit, the best way to hit four 
is from, I guess, you see there's a slope over here, and the slope goes up. You park it right there at the bottom of the slope. That's the best place to do it. it in fact, it's right here on the minimap. You just park at the bottom, and you hit four. Or you can do it from over here, you can hit four, and from over here, you can hit five also. So I destroyed objective four. We got four and a half minutes left. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a progress report. Oh, there it is. So we got five is done, and that's the game. Let's see how the team did. All fronts, uh, you know, people, they talk about farming damage, and they're obsessed with farming damage. Marcos, me, and Sergeant Rage were the only ones that had general when we capped F. And all the time that passed, we're the only ones that have general. These other guys didn't make it. Okay, so that's a game I did 5,400 damage. That's reported in game. 1,900 blocked by armor and 1,900 spotting damage. And this shows you why it's important to stay in B when you're a defender. Don't leave B and go to A. It's a really bad strategic move. 